Suicide is a national tragedy. It's the cause of a lot of deaths for a lot of Americans and for a lot of everyone around the world. But in America alone, suicide was the 10th most common cause of death among Americans of all ages. But it was the second leading cause of death amongst the teens. That's horrible. Between the years 2000 and 2007, the death rate was about seven for every 100,000 people. New studies came out in 2017, so very recently. That rate rose from around seven to almost 11 people per 100,000 people. That's nearly a 56% increase. That's horrible. Within the time that we found our research base, we had come across something that was anxiety within the classroom relating back to suicide. How that works is the student will feel the pressure or the stress of a test. Either they don't study for it or they're just not feeling it that day. So they fail the test. Once they fail that test, their grade drops. Once their grade drops, that puts a mentality within their brain that makes them feel less helpful and hopeful. And so as their grades continue to fall because they're feeling that helplessness, it's a chain reaction. As their grade falls, their academic standards fall throughout all classes. And then they turn to something more drastic. The more helpless they feel, the more they feel they don't need to be here. At all. And that's where suicide plays a role. A study was released by the CDC in April of 2018 that reported that the suicide rate among U.S. teens ages 10 to 17, the suicide rate had increased 70% in just a small decade, 2006 and 2016. That is a ton of people. That is a disturbing amount of people. And even more disturbing is that in a different study by the CDC, they found that among young women ages 15 and 19, the suicide rate nearly doubled from 2007 to 2015, its highest point in 40 years. The suicide rate for boys only increased by 30% over the same time period. And I say only as if it's not a big deal, but it is. A Denise Pope of Stanford University even said that too many schools have become pressure cookers. These Most kids are so stressed these days and they don't know where to go. Putting that classroom and stress to the side a second, let's look at another viewpoint. Multiple studies show that social fragmentation or social isolation, which basically means that if you live in the city, you have higher likely of a chance to become more contact with people. Chicago has 24 million people in it. You're gonna see somewhere. It's bound to happen. If you live somewhere like Braidwood, there's 6,000 people. You're probably still gonna see someone throughout the day, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. This idea is very scary throughout rural areas like Braidwood or any farmlands. The mid throughout the Midwest, suicide rates have nearly tripled throughout the past 20 years. And the presence of more gun shops was also associated with the increase of suicide rates you know, everywhere in the United States and most of the world. We went around the school and asked some kids what they thought of the situation. Have you ever been stressed out and or anxious in school? Yes. Uh, school? Yes, all the time. 
Have you ever been stressed out or anxious in school? Yes, all the time. Have you ever been stressed out and or anxious in school? Yes. Have you ever been stressed out and or anxious in school? Yes. Have you ever been stressed out and or anxious in school? All of these kids say that they feel stressed throughout the classroom, which is a very bad sign. Let's see what some of the teachers have to say. I do. I think that schools are getting more versed in the language about um, mental health and how to help students. And I think that um, putting up you know, different posters and things like that, putting boards up, you guys just told me maybe increasing the number of boards that are up or just to get more awareness in different areas of school. Um, I did just hang up with Officer Reed posters that are facts about suicide by some of the water fountains, some of the common places. I don't know, common areas, have you guys seen mm -hmm. those? In? Okay. Um, so I think a lot of times people are afraid to talk about it and they don't know who to talk to. So um, like they feel embarrassed. They feel embarrassed and you know, different people feel differently. Like I'm not afraid to talk about it. So I think students are becoming more comfortable in talking to me. Some parents sometimes get overwhelmed by it. Um, and sometimes students feel that they can tell their parents stuff. Um, some parents are very talkative and kids don't want to talk to their parents. Yeah. So it's just kind of connecting with the right person that you feel comfortable with. And then hopefully they can link you to different resources. This was the poster that she was talking about and it's hanging out right outside her room. This is a very useful standpoint in our school. Um, I think it's, we're doing a lot more than we used to do. Um, I, I don't think it's something that before it was just something that you know we didn't really talk about, but now there are things in place for kids that are struggling. Um, we now have social emotional learning standards um, in place that we have had training on, we've done in services on. So you know we as teachers are now somewhat trained to deal with a multitude of different emotional issues that students have today. So that's very helpful. The other thing is we now have a full-time social worker at the high school, which is very helpful for kids that are struggling, where they can um, get assistance and for free, you know, and during the day and when they need it. Um, you know, there's other things in place like the um, oh, what's that thing? Where like Thursday thoughtful Thursdays, where we put, you know, where we say nice things about each other, mm -hmm. and that's gotta help, you know, just everybody's like emotional health. If, if somebody says something, you know, nice about you, that lifts you up. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything that you would change about that kind of curriculum or add? I don't think at this point, I mean, because it is relatively new. So I think probably in a couple of years, we can, you know, we can see how it is working. After and more, what, like, like studies. Academy. Yeah, and then we'll be able to, you know, we can kind of see where our kids are at and what they need, you know, what they're not getting, what they are getting. I, I think it's too early to find out just yet. All of these points made are very correct. She was right about this new social worker. She's been here for about a year or so, but that helps a tremendous amount. Do you think schools are doing enough to prevent suicide? I think schools are doing everything that they're legally allowed and capable of doing to prevent suicide. If you had a friend who was going through like tough times and thinking about suicide, what would you say to him? I would tell them that no matter how depressed they are, whatever they think, that there's always someone that cares about them. So, if you were in charge of the school, what would you do to try and prevent like suicide or make it more aware? I'd probably just make sure that people have uh, an outlet to go talk to and are well aware that there's somewhere that they can go and talk to someone. After interviewing the teachers, we went back and interviewed the same students again on whether or not that the school was doing enough to make suicide I known. I don't think they help it in any way. They definitely make it very tempting. Uh, they could probably do more. What other things do you think that they could do to make it more aware? Uh, instead of like... I'm not sure, really. No, I don't think they do. No, I think that they could inform the students more about it. How? Uh, 
like posters and stuff don't work. They have to like take the time to actually know the students are understanding and like more aware of like what causes it and what could be done to help. No, not as much. All of these kids think that there should be more done about the situation. And after that, I told them about the stuff that our school tries to do for them, and they were very surprised. Another leading point is the gun situation. Firearms are used in less than 10% of suicide attempts, but they're to blame for more than half of all suicide deaths. Gun violence and mass shootings make the headlines all the time, but nearly two-thirds of all firearm deaths are the result of suicide, not someone killing someone else. The gun situation also goes back to the social isolation part. If you're in more of an urban area, it's going to be harder to get your hands on the weapon for one, and two, to actually go through with the act of suicide. You're bound to become in more contact with people, which is going to make your mind feel like you're more wanted. And you're just going to feel less of the weight of whatever you're feeling than you would in a rural area. More rural areas, you're not going to have anyone to talk to. You're going to feel lonely. You're going to feel more lonely than you would in a place like a city. That's just how it works. It's not anyone's fault. That's just the way that our country, for one, is set up. Now, for the facts about the firearms, more than 40% of fatal suicides between the ages of 17 and 10 are done with a firearm. Now, restricting the access to these firearms means that there's less of a chance of that happening. This is called the Child Access Prevention Law, and they're not in every state. These laws require that gun owners store their guns in a manner that prevents unauthorized or unsupervised access to the firearms, especially by the youths. And within the states that have these CAP laws, the rates of youth firearm suicide are 8% lower than the states that do have them. Now, for ways to solve these situations, the school standpoint and anxiety in the classroom I think that schools are doing everything in their power to help the students throughout the day. They don't have that much information to go off of as it's a fairly new subject for the schools as well, but they're doing the best they can. Our school specifically, they have posters, they have all the stuff that they're trying to do. They have We have a new counselor now. They're putting together different like meetings for the kids who really need it. And they are really trying to make it known. As Mrs. Dennis said, we don't have enough information yet, as it still is a somewhat new concept. Turning to the gun standpoint, I feel that every single state should have all of these laws, the CAP laws, as it is a very critical element, especially in the rural areas. I just don't think much more can be done for the school standpoint of things. But a thing for the students. Just know you're never alone. And what I mean by that is... I feel that throughout everyone's lives, everyone has felt that feeling of helplessness. Or the feeling of, they don't need to be there. You don't matter or anything. You do matter, I promise you that. No matter how horrible you think you are or you think you're doing, there's always gonna be someone out there that loves you and needs you in their life. I promise you that. You are important. You matter to not only, you matter to yourself, but you matter to the, those around you, even when it doesn't seem like that. And I feel like that's another thing, is that us as students and us as people could also help out the situation. It's not just schools or the guns, it's that we have to help out each other to help each other through life. And that's kind of like a moral of life.
but putting that again to the side. If you're in school and you're stressed, just just relax. It's it's school. It might be very important to you, but it's not worth your life. School is very important to you to you and your life, but it is not worth dying over. You could talk to anyone about it, I promise you. They're go we're all going through the same things. Even teachers, they've been there before too. They're not some type of superhuman. They're not going to help you with everything, but they can try, and you can try as well. 